going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So, if you caught the last video, you know it's something. You notice that we right back at it. Damn right we back at it. So, we got this 150-gallon aquarium right here, right behind me. And uh, it's empty. So, we need to do something about that. I have two fish. <laughs> I got two monstrous fish. That are going to go in here. So these fish aren't monster size yet, but they can 100% grow into some monsters. They're cold water fish. They are prehistoric fish. They are some of the most ancient bony fish. Have you guessed it? Sturgeon. I have two sturgeon that's in my living room that are now big enough to go into this 150 gallon. They're gonna look small in here, but like I said, they get quite large. So why not get them in here? Besides, I have some other plants for that 75 gallon in the, in the Besides, I have some other plants for that 75 gallon that's in the house. Eh, something like maybe moving half the fry in there, you know, doing a little test, seeing how those fry grow out, seeing how those fry grow out, opposed to the fry in here, you know, just, I could possibly do some other things with that 75 gallon. Meanwhile, giving our two sturgeon 150 gallons, twice the water volume. So uh, most of you don't even really get to see the sturgeon. That's another beautiful thing. So we could, you know, do spotlight videos on a sturgeon, look at them, feed them, do things like that. So uh, let's go grab these sturgeon. Let's bring them into their new home. And then we're going to wrap up this video because some of you may know now it has been a long day. All right, so as you can see, this is where the sturgeon are. So let's go ahead and get them out of this, get them out of this disgusting tank. I'm a little ashamed of myself, but the filter is just not big enough. Don't work well for a 75 gallon. You need to have a sump. You need to have a canister filter, not a hang on the back. So this was always a temporary situation. Now, I don't know how easy this would be. It might be easy, it might not be. Come on, there we go, easy. All right, good. Let's grab the other one. There we go, I'm gonna just catch you, boom, caught. Okay, now, come on. Don't get stuck in there. There we go. Good, good, good. So one thing about sturgeons, you need to have plenty of oxygen in the water. So I have these. Yeah. So I have these diffusers that I also have to get to put into the new tank. So let's go ahead and get these fish in there. Oh, yeah. Check out the tree. I'll give you guys a little quick little spin around, a little spin a rooney. There we go. How you like that? Yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's what. All right. So, as you can see, this court right here is part right here is awesome I'll tell you that so let's go ahead and get him into this new tank all right so I will do a little acclimation just to make sure that the water is pretty much the same and it should be it should be cold there we go all right that's it Let's get him in. I'm excited for this. There we go. There go one. See him? All right, there he is. Like I said, looking kind of small in here, but actually don't look that small. But that's a smaller of the two. 
about to grab the bigger one now. Ah, there we go. And then there's the bigger one. So now I'll just go grab their air stones. I'll even grab their uh, their sponge filter, and I'll be right back. Yep, two awesome sturgeon. So I got their air diffusers and their uh, their sponge filter. So now let's just go ahead and reconnect everything, drop it in. That's pretty much it. Done deal. All right. Right, just like that, just plug it in, and then I'll situate them where I want them at. All right, just like that, check it out. All right, sure that's what they were waiting on. There we go. Yep, they always swim through those bubbles. Yep, sure that's what they were waiting on. All right, there they are. Our two sturgeon in the 150. circulation pump that circulation pump was pushing them real real hard and I, I don't know about that I don't I don't think they really care much for you know that we'll see anyway here's the sturgeon we've had them for a while now we're going to do some species spotlights on them as well. I could uh, go into detail on how, how I take care of them and uh, pros and cons, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, I appreciate you guys for kicking it with me. It's been a long day. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. If you liked it, if you learned something, were inspired by something, hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And uh, follow me on other platforms. Follow me on Facebook at The Fish Corner. Follow me on TikTok at The Fish Corner. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. I'm going to catch y'all in that next video. Peace.